Hello everybody, I'm Yvette of Uniquely Yvette. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. This week we're going to be doing a Halloween project and I have this template here of a little ghost witch, the little bat, and it also has a little broom on here. And on the hat is supposed to be this little flower with a pumpkin here. I'm not sure yet how I need to do this part. But anyway, I traced using my carbon paper, I traced the ghost onto here. Uh, I glued a few pieces of scrap wood together and I glued some more together and I traced this broom on here and the ghost on this one. I think I'm going to be using this 1 8 inch piece of plywood for the little bat that's going to go on the front of the broom right here. These two pieces are I'd say a half inch thick. They're made from regular wood not plywood. But just the bat so far is made from plywood. I think if I make this, I'm going to cut it out of plywood. But I don't know the details of this yet. So we'll hold on for that. For now, let's move over to the scroll saw and cut these shapes out. The ghost and the broom. And the bat. Okay, here we are with everything cut out, the broom here, the ghost, I cut out this little bat, which as I said will go here. Now you might consider if you did something like this, probably before you cut the shapes out, you would route down the handle and here and here, maybe on this side of this band too, so that uh. It, this part sticks up like it's separate from the handle and this part sticks up a bit so it's separate from the broom part of it. But I'm not going to do that. I actually just want to keep the full thickness of my broom so I'm going to leave it all flat. I'll just let the paint job, however I figure that out, do the trick for me and then the bat will be something that sticks up. But I am going to use my rotary tool to to quickly indent these eyes. Another place you could potentially use your router is to route the whole ghost body down from the hat so the hat sticks up. Or if you did layering, you could just put a, a, a hat on top of a thin, maybe this thick. This uh, bat is really thin, about an, I'd say an eighth of an inch thick. You could put an eighth of an inch thick hat on here and just like if you did the ghost did his rounded head at the top and then laid an eighth of an inch thick hat on top but i didn't want to do that i'm just keeping it all very very simple in one piece like i said i'm just in my mind i just want the wood to stay as thick as it is i do not want to plane down the wood thickness so i'm going to go in with my rotary tool and have these eyes indented a little bit I'm going to be using this bit of the size. It's a little bowl shaped. I would have done a better job if I broke out my router. I think I'm still going to go ahead and do that and just clean these eyes up. I think they're a little too junky. That's all we're doing there. I figured out this design here finally. Well, actually, I decided to that I didn't have the patience for figuring this bad boy out. So what I did was I drew one of the leaf shapes eight times and left it at that. So that's what I have here. Plus I, I cut out this one of these pieces and I cut it in half. And so I have two pieces, one a little thicker than whatever. <laughs> so, and I also cut out the pumpkin. I think I showed that, but see, I have these leaves and I've got eight of them here and I tried to make them narrow on the end so I could fit them behind the pumpkin on top. So that's what I'll be doing. 
and then I'll just add this like that and that's how we're going to do that now I also made this shape here because while the the wood is thick enough where the ghost stands up by itself I just want more stability by putting this on the back so we will do that when the time comes but first let's get down to painting everything I was painting the bat I didn't press record but here it is also forgot to do it for the black I trimmed on these leaves now this is the way I want this flower to go on the hat but it's so hard to figure out how to get everything to stay situated so what I might do is like glue it from the top down I'm going to use hot glue and I'm just going to Hope for the best. So now we will glue the bat on. Okay, I'm going to glue this back piece on. And I did paint the back of the ghost, but I'm going to glue the stand on before I attach the broom. And now that I have the back piece on to hold the project up, I'm going to attach the broom, I think, let's see, about, about right there. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, give me a comment below and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.